Are you ready for this? Hell yeah. I'm going to have some coconut milk in my coffee. Mwah! Does it? Ew, you get Ew, you fucking... What the fuck, dude? I was I was going for the goof with like a fake kiss, and then you had like like a gleam in your eyes. <laughs> I love you, the beard. What's up? How crazy was that last caller? It was fucking nuts, man. Maybe I'm just tired. What do you do? A hundred pills? He, he said a hundred pills, fifty. And, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like I say, I'm depressed, and it's true. But there's people out there that different levels of this shit. I mean, I would never take one of those. Right. He took a hundred. Just to get it over with. Right. Dude, I gotta fucking get shit going mentally. I have to. Mike helps. Mike's good. He's Mike's a very positive guy. He really I really think mushrooms could help. No. No, you don't think so? Oh, we didn't do that story today. The fuck No, we said the, about how they help depression. Yeah, but we didn't really we didn't really get into it, did we? No. Yeah, we the forgot. The we forgot I'm shocked about routinely with Chris is anytime that he'll take a puff or two, he is completely at ease. Yeah. Every single time and you're like, I should probably smoke pot, right? And I just and like, don't. Yeah, and then you I'm the do. king of saying I know I'm the king of knowing what I need to do yeah. but never doing it. I'm the king of that. And I think that has something to do with depression or anxiety about um like some type of career anxiety or just like I think I'm stuck in chaos and I'm stuck in this depressed state. That any type of happiness, I think my normal, my norm, my equilibrium, my heart rate is like, no, you need to be heightened. And if you're low, I think it feels weirder than being high. But you're saying what everyone thinks. I know, but everyone why, has those but feelings. why can't I kick it? Because no, not many people can. Everyone feels like, oh, fuck, things are going too well. This is uncomfortable. It's gonna, most, something bad's going to happen. Yeah, most people like living in chaos. Yeah. That yeah. is a fact. Therapy helps that. I've been trying therapy, therapy, man. Because I'm a conflict seeker. No, 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 no. That's what I found out. No, is that, like, no. What's a conflict like, seeker? When shit's going too good, I'll like stir some something up. And like even if I don't recognize it. Times Square, like, there'll be those guys handing out tickets right. for a comedy club. And they'll be like, free comedy show tonight. And like we just walk by them. And Mike's like, fuck you! I'm a fucking comedian! And like, the guy's like, oh! Ah! <laughs> and the guy's just like, whoa! But fucking conflict seeker. <laughs> Uh, people are saying you stepped up to the plate there, Chrissy, with About the last me. caller. Oh, I stepped up to the plate? Yeah, that guy was... Uh, yeah. He's a regular, too. I recognize the voice, and he called in yesterday defending uh, defending me from that asshole. He... he. When I hear something like that, it puts stuff in perspective. So that's what I love about doing radio is, you know, you'll say something to the country or, you know, to North America, and people will call in. And put you back in perspective, right? You know, because there's so many people have it worse, and so many people have it better. But I think you got to just try to get right with yourself, which is hard. I think it's hard, whatever circumstances. I think I think I'm I think I can be okay. Just have to change some things up. I think there's a lot of gunk. I think I got to stop drinking coffee and go to green tea. I think that's my main problem. Is coffee? Yeah, it's probably not my main problem. But it's one of the, <laughs> that's what they say. Yeah. yeah. That's what I heard. Ah, uh, is Roland making fun of your haircut? I love you, Chris. I love you. <laughs> but black coffee is good for your metabolism, so it's probably why you're not a fat fuck. But I am. That's the thing. I am. I'm telling you, size 38 waist, and I fucking rolls. Yeah, he's lopsided. Um, yeah. You you see it at some angles, right? Uh, I mean, can we be honest? Have you noticed it more as as I've been coming in the show? Me and Bobby yeah. talked about it with you yesterday. Right. I mean, you look at Chris Stefano one way, and you're like, holy fuck, that guy's in crazy shape. Mm. And then you just turn slightly, and there's, there's problems. <laughs> that's why I'm perfect for a dumb, smart guy, because cause that's what I'm saying. Like, I, And I think that's why I'm a comedian, because I'm always almost there, but I'm never really there. I'm never there. Yeah. Like, if I really was all the way in shape, I'd could be i be a quarterback or just some fucking multimillionaire, right. but I'm not. I have fat thighs. Do they rub when you walk? A little bit, and I have cellulite on my butt. No. Yes, I do. Can you show us? No, I can't. No, I. Got, I, I don't want to see your. Butt I got hole. instruction about no more butt play. From no who? more butt stuff. Just the fucking world. From <laughs> the world. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person saw your butthole. Mike, you don't want in on this conversation. You're, what are you doing? Checking Listen your Twitter. I just got an. I just got. The hell, dude. What do you think of that? I, I don't know if they Come heard on. It. I don't know if they heard it. You think that you think maybe maybe the sound shit. maybe the sound is vibrating off the off the anal wart. No, or the anal skin tear. No. No. I'm so fucking tired, dude, and I gotta work I got two right, shows tonight. So where do we go now? I mean Mike and I I guess we'll go down to New York Comedy Club unless you want to go to the tree.
You want to go to the tree? We got to do the tree at least once before Christmas Eve. Why do you Eve. have to see the tree? I'd like to see the tree with you guys. I don't have. I guess I don't have to. I'd like to. Dude, I've never done anything, man. I've never been in a tree. Never been to Thanksgiving Day parade. I've lived in this city my whole fucking life. All right, we'll do the tree. I've never, I've never been, been on the Roosevelt Island tram. I drove the Staten Island ferry. What? Before. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my dad uh, was uh, the captain. Was one of his clients. I think he like lost him all his money. But uh, before that, he let me drive the Staten Island ferry. It's pretty sweet. I used to date That's a girl cool. whose whose sister was a Staten Island ferry captain. One of the first female really? Staten Island ferry captains. Was yeah, she the one that crashed. Oh, that crashed this. Uh, you know, my dad was on that boat, but he was in the up. He was on the upper. <laughs> he was. My dad was on that boat, but he was like on the upper level, so he didn't feel shit. He was like, oh, he was like yelling at the captain. Like, he was like, ah, oh, fucking guy. And meanwhile, people are just mangled <laughs> on the bottom floor. When you were telling that story, I thought the girl was so big, you just called her this, <laughs> the Staten Island Ferry. <laughs> you ever been on the Staten Island Ferry? Uh, I don't Some know. Some people have it. I've been on a ferry from uh, Brooklyn to Manhattan. That's the oldest ferry route in the country. It's pretty ferry. cool. We went, yeah. walked the bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge, had the pizza on the other side, and then... Jumped on a ferry back. I'll never walk the Brooklyn Bridge awesome. again. When you get mid-span, it's all wooden planks, and you can oh, see yeah, through like right to the floor. Manhattan Bridge, you can walk over, and it's all concrete. I'll never walk over the bridge. Remember when we walked over the bridge, the Roebling Bridge in Cincinnati? That was yeah. the same guy yeah. who made the Brooklyn Bridge, made this bridge in Cincinnati. Same design. Yeah. Fucking see right to the floor. Well, yeah, but I like that. No, That's what it's makes freaky. it kind of cool. It's freaky, man. Not to mention the Brooklyn Bridge. If you step an inch out of the line into the bike lane, you are risking your fucking life because they're going so fast oh, yeah. such little care for pedestrians that you could like get absolutely mangled by one of those guys that absolutely no all right let's get out of here you want to go no to the train on your juice i don't know if they were right here when no we it's on this side oh opie's a fucking therapy. health nut well no I, I used to drink these any breakfast and that's why i kept gaining weight i didn't know you were just supposed to do one oh i think you know, it, your pit stains are i don't right. know what happened it, it tapped out for a sec no roland gets me these oh. This is from Juice Generation. This is uh, clean oh, green good. protein. It's got almond milk, banana, baby spinach, hemp protein, almond butter, kale, coconut nectar, and uh, chia seed. So will that be a whole dinner tonight? You won't eat anything else? He just got it for me. I might just save it for tomorrow. Have it for breakfast. It's another positive aspect of marijuana, fucking hemp. Hemp? It was our biggest domestic uh, trade when our com country first started. Right. All right. Well, that was fun, well, Chrissy. I, all right. When are you back? Are you gonna go? I guess fucking next week. Who knows? No, you're, I want you to be doing multiple days now. All right, I'll come back. You know, next week, whatever you need to go. All right, I'll figure it out. I'm tired. And Mike. Thanks for having me, man. We'll call you soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Mike on the show. I think we're going to work you in more as well. Sweet, man. This is awkward because I'm putting my coat on as I try to do this. Eric, thank you, buddy. No thank you, Paulie. Oh, yeah. Did I take my charger? All right, we're going to go see the Christmas tree, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. We might. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching this horse shit. See you tomorrow. Do you like... Do uh to my teeth? Wait, wait, slow down. No, you're good, bro. All right. You're good.